The last Ronin comic series from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle franchise has taken its audience by storm. The mature take on the story of the Ninja Turtles by writers Kevin Eastman, Peter Laird, Tom Waltz, and Andy Kuhn is indeed commendable. Despite laying focus on the action sequences and fights, which have always been the key elements of the Ninja Turtle story arcs, the story showcases some heart-melting scenes and an exchange of dialogues that brought in great depth to the life and purpose of the Ninja Turtles. The Turtles were scattered and in an unfortunate course of events, faced their demise against their enemies. Only Michelangelo survived and thus became the lonely wandering samurai without his master and brothers. Now if you had ever taken an interest in the Ninja Turtles, you would know Michelangelo to be the most energetic one in the team, making witty retorts and expressing his eternal love for pizzas. But after the death of all the members of his family, he chose a life of solitude. He spent years trying to live a life of solitude and attain peace, but all that went futile after he realized that no matter where he went, trouble was going to find in whichever form possible. Finally, he gave up waiting for his demise and got back on his knees. His sole purpose was to end the last successor of the Foot Clan who had taken over New York City. Mikey succeeds but also meets his demise. Interestingly, April O'Neil took a few of his blood samples and was later shown to be raising four new turtles with her daughter Casey. Although not much has been revealed about the four new turtles, it is evident that they were going to carry on the legacy of the Ninja Turtles. With that, hi everyone and welcome to another marvelous video and today we will be talking about the four new turtles who will soon be taking their place as the Ninja Turtles. So without any further delay, let us begin. Odin Odin is one of the second generation Ninja Turtles. Casey and April took care of the four of them and trained them. He is the largest among the rest of the turtles and kind of dislikes Tai Chi, claiming it to be too difficult. All four of the turtles are extremely adorable and often are like little children spreading ruckus when left alone. Owing to his size, Odin is teased by his brothers, especially Uno, who calls him a fatty. Odin often complains of being hungry in the most adorable way, and April serves him a good meal. One could deduce Odin as a reflection of Michelangelo as to how, during the initial days of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, he was not that active in fights. In the recent concept art of the second generation Ninja Turtles, Odin has been shown to be the tank of the group with enormous size and would surely possess superior strength. Yi. Yi is a female turtle and the sister of the other three turtles. Her story is similar to that of the rest. She is enthusiastic and caring and holds similar traits to Donatello from the first generation of the Ninja Turtles. Donatello was killed after he and Splinter went to Japan to confirm their truce with the Foot Clan, led by Oroku Hiroto. It was a trap and they met their demise after fighting thousands of Foot Clan soldiers. It would be interesting to see the path Yi takes and follows in the subsequent tales of the new Ninja Turtles. Like Donatello, she is calm and cares for her brothers. She is also shown to be diligent. While practicing headlock with Odin, when April asked her to leave, she quickly began practicing Tai Chi. Another trait of Donatello that she carries is his flair for machines. With all that said, we can only wait for their adult versions to be released in the next issues. Uno. Next we have Uno, the second generation turtle who is similar to Leonardo owing to his traits of leadership. However, there are significant differences as well. While Leonardo showed compassion and empathy, Uno has a place for his ego. His appearance is contrasting with the rest of the turtles. He is light green in color with a dark stripe on his head and is a prodigy who could take care of his own. In the future, we might see him as the most skilled fighter in the group, but till then, he is surely the one with a bad mouth. Insulting his siblings, especially Odin, for not being good enough at fighting definitely showcases Uno's pride in himself and his ego. In the last Ronin saga, Leonardo faced his death fighting Baxter Stockman's army of cybernetic ninja soldiers. It all happened after Splinter and Donatello left for Japan, and Baxter's army made a sudden attack on the base of the Turtles. Michelangelo and April O'Neil managed to escape after Leo and Casey Jones stayed behind, buying them time and sacrificing their lives. Moha Moha is one of the two sisters in the group and is a reddish colored turtle with lighter patches. Like Raphael, she is a hothead and can very well be his replacement in the second generation of Ninja Turtles. In the events of the last Ronin storyline, after the attack on Splinter and Donatello, Raphael lost it. He charged for the Foot Clan with all his might, killing hundreds of its soldiers on the way. That night, nothing could have stopped him, as after being stabbed with arrows and knives, he was still standing tall. Finally, Karai arrived, and in the fight, they both stabbed each other. Karai was sent to a lifelong coma, while Raphael met with his demise. A similar trait of rage was carried by Moha. When Uno kept insulting Odin, Moha was enraged and was about to get into a fight before Casey arrived to stop them. Like Raphael, she is also shown to be a sort of a loner, and while all the other turtles are together, she keeps listening to music alone. It would be interesting to watch her grow up and take the place of Raphael. Conclusion So we have finally come to the end of our video, and we hope you have liked our content. 
The names Uno, Yi, Odin, and Moha all have the same meaning in different languages. 1. It surely means that together as a team, they are one and would always be together as one. Future comics and other media might be digging into the second generation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, following which we will be further elaborating on the new turtles. Till then, have a good one and stay tuned for our next marvelous video.